four digit extension. For police emergency and non emergency dispatch. Finland Police, Operator 9230. Yeah, um, I keep either being hung up on or the phone be put down or left on hold and it just to sit okay. there and ignore me from Birch and he's harassing me. How can I help you, ma'am? I just told you you just got talked over. Okay. I basically... Can I help you, ma'am? I'm, I'm telling you. Okay. I basically is being transferred to Birch in the front desk, and he hung up on me. He basically, um, um, they're playing these games and basically just leaving me on hold or, or putting the phone down, not answering or whatever, and playing these games. Um, and then I was transferred to um, a Rodriguez, and he's basically just playing games or whatever and refusing me to make a complaint, saying I can't make a complaint about crimes uh, uh, of terroristic so threats. What's your address? Of terroristic threats in violence. I, I don't want police here. Okay, well, then you can come here and report that, okay? No, I can report it on the phone. I'm allowed to do that. Well, then who do you want to speak to, ma'am? Look, I need to speak to... A, I told them I need to speak to a law enforcement officer who's going to take okay. me, uh, come my complaint and basically stop playing these immature games. All right, ma'am. You've spoken to two officers. Yeah, they're sitting there uh, hanging up yeah, on me. You can come in here to make the complaint, okay? They're hanging up on me. An officer to your I need to speak to an officer on the phone that's not going to harass me. Okay, ma'am. They, they need to be arrested. Ma'am, ma you have two choices, dear. I can send someone to your house, or you can come here. What is your choice? Did the police, did the police tell you that? Well, you don't like the officers that you're speaking You need to stop. I No. Don't sit there and put that on me. So that I don't like the officers. I'm being harassed, and they're committing crimes against me. This is what they do. They sit there. Oh, you don't like the officers. They they just they manipulate. She said, this is what they were told her to do. Manipulate like a freaking child molester. They're echo cookie cutters, and they're harassing me and gaslighting me. This is what they do. And they sit there and vilify the victim. Oh, if you don't like the officers, no. The officers are harassing me. They're refusing to make the complaint and hanging up on me. That's what they do. They vilify the victim. I'm just, look, the only thing that's happening, I'm sitting there explaining. Oh, well, that's them not liking me, so they're going to refuse my rights because they don't like me. They don't even know me. Well, I don't know about the other Rodriguez. The other Rodriguez had her harass me because I'm white. But they're echoing other officers who are harassing me, well, because I'm a white, intelligent woman. They only like the white men. Most white men are pigs. That's the reality. If they go sit there and they hate white people and they're going to sit there and follow suit, then well, we'll stop acting like the degenerates among us. I'm sitting there, some uh, uh, reporting somebody making terroristic threats to violence. And then, so they're sitting there hanging up on me and basically, well, playing all these little games or whatever. It's unbelievable. And she just sat there and copied, like, uh, Sandy, Santiago. Who basically says, oh, it's a choice. It's either one or the other. That's why I asked her. She, she sat there and police told her to say that. It was another officer, a woman who harassed me, hanging up on me. He said, oh, just because you don't like them. Why, they're sitting there obviously harassing me because they hate me without a cause. They're the ones sitting there mistreating me. And when I describe them how evil they are and how degenerate they are, they're going to sit there and blame me and vilify me for it and make it my fault. He wants the pure heart. 
So, um, then... We- and they're basically copying my words, by the way, because I said, um, I hear from God because, um, my heart is pure, by the way. None of them are. That's why they cannot, um, receive anything from God directly. We heard from Pastor Tony that the prophet from Africa, right, said that violent was ours. Um... Those are my words. I sat there and said, God gave me violent. I ha- it had nothing to do with me taking over land or whatever. They add on to it and basically claim they're warring with violent and, and, and taking over the land. The enemy knows that. He doesn't want us gaining ground. He doesn't want us helping others. He doesn't want us to... They're not helping others. They're mind raping others and claiming they're helping others. They're scamming people. I, this is the woman who basically said it, uh, uh, she's echoing her false leaders. Claiming if, if, if you don't give them money, that you're being disobedient against God. So they had her stop saying that, I guess. And they put me on this hole with this, this beeping thing, and they know it basically bothers my nerves. It actually it makes me nauseous. It's what they do. Yeah, that's something else that I wouldn't have recorded. I'm gonna put that all together. But um So I just want you to know this cult, by the way, uh, committed hate crimes against me. It was used by the Violent New Jersey uh, Police Department. And the Violent New Jersey Police Department actually gets them and copy my words and mixes it all with all their mind raping pig- piggish false doctrines as they twist the Bible. And because I basically write on my um, on my on my work uh, of uh, true doctrines that basically exposes their false uh, teachings or whatever, they sit there and um, I put authoritative original insight um, by Christian theologian Teresa Lockwood. And so, um, so they basically told them that they're authoritative. So the only ones who are authoritative are those who speak the true knowledge that is unbreakable. I broke and destroyed their false doctrines all the time and then constantly perverting, uh, scripture or whatever. Um, or whatever. And I told them all who are committing hate crimes against me with the collusion with the violent Nazarene name of church, formerly known as violent first church of Nazarene, uh, the church assembly, uh, fraudulent Pentecostals or whatever. Um... You're going to do this on purpose. You have reached the city of Miami. So the police are... This is an emergency. Please press 1. If you know your party's four digit extension. Lying. I, I, I couldn't uh, basically make a report for my husband being abused and harassed. In the hospital, and they were making up lies and sitting there saying, I can't make a complaint against somebody else abusing somebody else. My own husband, by the way, in the hospital. Detective. Because they're, they're having people do it. For ID Bureau, press 4. For Internal Affairs, press 5. Violent Police, Operator 9230. Yeah, this, I, I wasn't sure if I pushed 2 or 1 um, because I was doing something, so I, this is a non emergency. Um, so, the thing is, is, um, look, I just got left on hold with the, this beeping that makes me nauseous, actually. People are telling people to do that on purpose because it hurts my, um, nerves. No, don't ever say that to me, ever. I'm trying to make a complaint about terrorists and threats, and you people are making it, playing a game out of things. Okay, ma'am, <coughs> you report that. You have to either allow an officer to speak to you face-to-face, either here at the station. I've been threatened my life by police officers, and I'm traumatized by them. I do not want their image. I, they they cause me PTSD. Okay. Report over the phone, ma'am. I'm sorry. Yes, I can. I'm allowed to. Thank you. I have COVID. Okay. So you stop. So there are you. Okay. I'm under COVID restrictions. So Officer Birch again. <coughs> I need to speak to a sergeant. <coughs> yeah, I need to speak to a sergeant, please. A sergeant, um, or a supervisor. 